Welcome back, everybody, to the South Australian Sports Show. We don't see a lot of this sport, but it's unbelievably popular around the world. Poppy, I don't mind telling you. I'm talking about table tennis. The state coaching director, Kay Crowell, has been good enough to join us. Kay, thanks for coming in. It's my pleasure. All right, I, I touched on it there. We Lots of people play socially. It is one of those games where people love to play socially, but to try and lift the profile past that social participation, how difficult? It is very difficult. Uh, I think everyone does perceive it as a backyard sport. Everybody's played it. It's the second most popular sport in the world, uh, second to soccer in participation. Wow. But to get that profile up, it is difficult. All right, I know on, because uh, we're all on the age now of internet, computers, Facebook, it's got over 12 million followers at any one time, table tennis. And I've been to China, seen it play there, which I suspect is pretty close to the mecca for table tennis. Could you see that happening in Australia? Could we get to that stage where the profile was as popular as it is in Asia? I think what they have in uh, as their advantage is it is their national sport. Mm. We're competing against football, cricket, basketball, netball that are very high profile here. Um, table tennis in the Asian countries the kids start when they're so little they lower the tables. <laughs> By the time they get to the age of our our children starting, they're fully fledged table tennis players, and as well, they're paid to play yeah. over there. Yeah, you know what I've seen the last few months, and I don't mind going to a hotel every so often. <laughs> um, is a few hotels who are actually offering table tennis as a, a bit of a sport for the front bar patrons and or for the kids. Now, I went to two. The Wellington was one of them. Uh, and sitting there watching the kids play social table tennis, I thought, well, well, what a great initiative, number one. But two, it's probably a good opportunity to at least give them the taste. But the next step is obviously getting them participating seriously Absolutely. or competitively. Yes, it is. Um, we, we actually coach thousands of children through uh, sporting schools and through different competitions. The um, private schools have a very strong competition and we go through thousands of children during the year but we find it very hard to get them to take that step into, into competition because of the other sports. I've got to say too though, uh, there's a lot of competition to get hold of the kids too. You know, football through Auskick is now being challenged by soccer. Uh, for girls, netball obviously is a high participation sport so it's not as though you, you haven't got some competition yourself just to get their attention which makes it pretty hard. Mm. It is a very technical sport. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many different um, spins. Uh, you actually have to know what the opposition's doing. It's mm. not like a, you have to learn basic skills in that. There's so many interventions mm. in it with, with the different rubbers different um, formats and things that does make it hard and I don't think the average person realises and then when they do try it they think oh gee I'm not very good at this and it's only table tennis. Yeah I can beat my brother at home but yes. now I'm playing against someone who's serious yeah, it's a, and then it's a they different think, game. Oh this is no good yeah. but that's that's what we're saying you have an opportunity it doesn't matter what age you are mm. you can play table tennis and you can play it for fun in the backyard but you can go and join a club, have fun, have social activities. You can play Commonwealth Games and also the Olympics. You, your world is your oyster at table tennis. And not every, every person mm. can, can have that opportunity. OK, we have a lot of sports that come in here with similar problems. Yes. Uh, one I imagine for table tennis is, is the venue. You know, if you go to Melbourne, you go to MSAC and you see the wonderful setup they've got there and, and table tennis around in the suburbs. For South Australia, is it still a problem finding the right venue to set it up? Yes, I think that is a disadvantage. We have all our um, affiliates and our clubs, we have 21 around the state that's re, um, regional and rural and we, we are based there but years ago we lost our main centre and I saw a decline mm. in table tennis numbers there because we could always go to Glen Osmond Road, the centre was always open we didn't have to organise training partners. We could just go there. Yep. And actually, I have started a building fund. Ah, <laughs> where are you planning on building? Um, where do you think? We, we have put it in hands of people to look into maybe a multi-purpose uh, sports centre. Yep. But um, we're open to any suggestions or any help from anybody out there. Absolutely. Yep. Because um, we think it's just a wonderful sport. can be played in any yeah. weather. Yeah. 
any age. Yeah, the elements don't affect it. And no. sometimes, I mean, the advantage that the AFL has over all the sports in South Australia, of course, is the high profile Absolutely. and the Rory Sloan type players or, or Travis Boak that the kids want to be like. Yes. We've got a pretty young, talented under 21 player, V Bowie. Can you tell us a little bit about her? Uh, yes, V started, uh, I remember seeing her running around the hall when she was about six. And uh, the last two years, she just um, won the under 21 singles championship, so back to back. So that was a great effort. And she's done the hard work, uh, travelled around the world a lot with uh, training and that. And uh, the opportunities are certainly there if you're prepared to do the work. I, I think, too, yeah, you're right. It's a good point, Phil, is that each sport needs a champion. And, for, and, and that, you know, obviously attracts. Pied Piper like a whole lot of followers. Mm. Uh, are there champions outside of this state? Are there champions nationally that coming through or there right now that you think you can hang the hat on or we still got a bit of work to go? Well we had one that we hung our hat on for many years. Mm. He's a local boy here, comes mm. from the hills. Uh, William Hensel mm -hmm. won 13 national yeah. open titles and I don't think that's ever been done and may never ever be done again. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately He's just retired, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, he was uh, somebody that uh, I think everybody looked up to for many years. Karen, your position as State Coaching Director, often uh, when I talk to coaches in all the sports, they identify kids that they think are really talented and then the big clubs come through and, and take them. Is that frustrating for you? You know, you identify some kids, you go, this male or female is a really good talent for table tennis and then suddenly netball grab them or footy take them or... Does that frustrate you? Yes, it does. It yeah. does. I think also we have to educate the parents, I think, because um, the parents see going to footy on a Saturday or netball on a Saturday afternoon or something like that and the priority is given to that and they may not understand that their child's probably got more opportunity to take it to the limit yeah. if they're prepared to do it. Would you be happy for table tennis to complement another sport? Because it seems to me that it's an ideal sport that can complement a footballer, a soccer player, a netballer, because it can be played in conditions that aren't prone to injury like other sports mm. can be or could be. Yeah. Actually, I know as a fact this morning, mm. the Crows are training table tennis. Oh, they <laughs> <laughs> they're one of our uh, district clubs. Uh, Having a competition this morning. It'd be handy if Tex Walker gave up football and took up table tennis. I mean, that would be great for the profile of the sport. Well, maybe we need to talk to one of these high <laughs> I think uh, I don't Rory. Think might Rory need a few dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think Rory Sloan would do. Oh, <laughs> what a surprise that a woman would think Rory Sloan would be the white. Okay, we have to go. Really appreciate your time coming in. Table tennis is a great sport. If you feel like you want to get involved, donate some money to the building fund that Kay's passionate about, then get in touch with them on the website. Okay, yes, table tennis. Table tennis SA. Dot com. Dot org, dot org. Dot au. Okay, we'll take a break. Stay with us. Still plenty to come.